Hey everyone, this is Chris here. Uh, just here to, to do a real quick video for you guys. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Red Factor Canary. Um, you know, I've, I've had a few people ask why are my Red Factor babies yellow and so I'm just going to go in a little bit about the Red Factor and the genes and why the babies are yellow. And so, <clears throat> you know, first of all, you know, a, l a little background history of the the red factor canaries is, you know, the, the canaries were crossed with a red siskin canary, which is a wild type. I'm sorry, not a red siskin canary, a red siskin, um, which is a wild type and it naturally has red. And so uh, when a canary was crossed with that, they found, they found that um, the offspring of those, you know, if you, if you color fed them, whether that's you gave them natural, foods like beets or carrots or I don't, know, I don't think oranges would count or anything with a, a red in color um, would help bring out their colors <clears throat> or or change the canary's feathers to red when they would molt out and so um, you know nowadays they have color food um, a lot of beta carotene uh, color foods that they offer um, that you can either put into their water kind of like this or that you could put into their foods um, that give them that necessary red coloration when they molt out and so the reason why my chicks right now are not red as you can see there's the mom there she's kind of the orange color the male down there he's a darker orange um, is because I don't color feed my babies when they're in the nest um, there are some breeders that do that. They just have color food in here So when the parents are feeding the chicks in the nest, they're already giving them that color food um, And and they grow red feathers from birth pretty much um, The reason why I don't do that is one I I, I Don't I don't know I One I don't like to use it that much because I want my birds to be healthy. You know, there are some people out there that say that you know if you feed them too much color food or in the long run color food is bad for the canaries and so I try and do it as little as possible so that's why I don't color feed them from birth um, I wait for the canaries to fledge the chicks and usually right after they wean is about when I start color feeding them like these guys here and so um, the reason why I do that is typically about six to eight weeks after they are born is when they start their molt. And so if you start color feeding them within that six to eight week range, usually when they start to molt, they already have that red carotene running through their system and the new feathers they grow will come in red instead of yellow. Now, if I wouldn't color feed them, and they go through their adult molt, they would come in yellow. Um, you know, I do feed, you know, typically I give carrots in my egg food, you know, so if, if I weren't to truly color feed them, um, they would probably grow in a little bit of an orange color to their feathers. Um, just because I give them carrots, um, I do give them strawberries every once in a while, stuff like that, and so, um, the trick is though, is you need to make sure that you're color feeding these guys when they molt. Because if they're not molting and you're color feeding them, they're just going to stay the same color that they already were. So it's important that you color feed them while they are molting and that's when the desired color comes in. And so, you know, that's just a little quick video background as to, um, how you get red factor canaries. and, and and one last note is they have to have the red factor gene. There is yellow canaries out there that don't carry the red factor gene. So you could feed them as much color food as you want. And when they molt out, they'll still molt into a yellow color. So they need to carry that red gene. And that's why they're called red factor canaries. So hope that helps. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them below the video. Thanks for watching, guys.